welcome home. Alright, what's going on guys, it's Epoxy, and here in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and set up the Vortex Mod Manager Alpha over on Nexus Mods, and this is the replacement for the Nexus Mod Manager. Now it is a little bit different from Mod Organizer, it's sort of like the merge between Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer, but it's also its own thing, it has a completely different UI from what we're used to with Mod Managers, there's quite a bit of difference in this mod manager so keep that in mind and also it is an alpha phase so i don't suggest as of yet using it as your sole mod manager as there are going to be bugs and it could mess up your mod load order so if you are a heavy mod user or you want to be a heavy mod user i suggest using a nether mod manager for now so without further ado let's just jump right into it the link for this will be down in the description below and once you're here all you want to do is go to the files tab here on the nexus mod page and click manual download on the one click installer. You can also do a custom install location which will allow you to install Vortex to whatever directory that you want, but we're just gonna go with the one click installer because it won't have any future issues with updates and uninstalling. So I suggest everyone to use the one click installer just to simplify the process, but you can still change where mods are downloaded and installed. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just choosing where Vortex itself is installed so let's go ahead and click that manual download button and we'll just save the file and that will put it into our downloads folder so once it's downloaded all you want to do is just double click and accept the admin privileges so it can go ahead and install correctly and it will just do the quick installation process it only takes a few seconds and then it's done that's all you have to do for the installation at least if you go with the one click installer if you take the custom installation routes then all you have to do is choose where you want it to install and that's the only additional step to the process and this is what vortex should look like when you launch it for the very first time so the first thing that you want to do is log into your account and what this will do is launch you into the web browser and let you know that vortex would like to access your nexus account as long as you're logged in on the website itself you won't have to actually enter the information at all. You just click this authorize button and boom, it connects it with your Nexus account and it should quickly change like that. And now that we're logged in, we can go ahead and do the rest of the setup on Vortex. And the first thing that I suggest doing here is checking off handle Nexus links so that it says yes. And, and the reason for this is when you're installing mods, you typically want to download with the mod manager. All you have to do is click mod manager download and it will download directly through the mod manager. You don't have to download it and put it into your downloads folder and then drag it onto the mod manager. You just click that button and it installs it directly to the mod manager itself, which is a fantastic useful tool. So I suggest making sure you have it checked. The next thing I suggest doing is enabling profile management so you can have different mod profiles. That is a little bit more of an advanced feature, but it is one that I suggest you all get used to using as it comes in handy when you want to have multiple mod installations say you want to have a vanilla playthrough you want to have a mod testing profile and you want to have a heavily modded profile you can switch between those very easily and it manages all your mods very quickly all it does is simply copy and paste all the files that it needs for that specific profile whenever you switch and it's a very quick process it's a lot easier than enabling and disabling mods and trying to remember which ones are for what use the next step that we want to take is scan for games and what this will do is scan for games on all of your drives by default it should search across all of your drives and it will scan for all the games that are currently supported in vortex so we're going to go ahead and head over to games and this is where we can go ahead and set up games to be managed by vortex itself so as you can see we have zero games managed right now but we have seven that are discovered and it's very simple. All you do is click the manage button and it sets it up to be managed. And we can just check them all off to be managed. And as you can see at the top left, this lets you know what game you have activated at the current moment. So for example, if I go to mods or plugins, this would be specifically for Skyrim Special Edition because that's the one that I have loaded. Now, if I go back to games and I say activate Fallout 4, it'll bring me to Fallout 4 and this will show the Fallout 4 mods. And plugins so that is how you quickly switch between games now if you want to know what games are supported by vortex currently that aren't currently managed or discovered you can go ahead and head over to the supported tab here and it will show you everything else that you currently don't have installed that is supported and if for some reason it's not finding a game that you have installed say you have the witcher 3 but it's not showing up all you do is just manually set the location 
and head over to wherever your game is located. Now, depending on where your games are installed and where you installed Vortex, if you use the one-click installer, it installed it to your local disk drive. So you may be seeing some of these errors as I am, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that because it is something that happens every single time I install Vortex in a clean install. So this is something I wanted to point out because I know a lot of people out there have their games installed on a different drive other than their local disk. So I wanna run you guys through how to fix these problems. Now, first off, we have mods can't be deployed. Now this has to do with the mod installation process that Vortex uses for Bethesda related games. It needs to be hard linked. So what that means is the mods need to be installed on the same drive as the game itself, which by default, Vortex does not automatically do for these games. So you need to set up the mod directories right off the bat. For example, mods can't be deployed. Let's go ahead and click the fix button. And this will bring us to the install paths for Fallout 4. And this is actually a very simple process. So to find your game directory, all you wanna do is go to Steam, right click the game that you're currently setting up, go to properties, go to local files and browse local files. And this will bring you to the game directory itself. We can go ahead and close off Steam now. And once you're in the game directory for whatever game you're setting up and fixing, all you wanna do is simply click right here and copy this location. Now what we wanna do is replace this right here we want to go ahead and replace the base path and the reason for this is a lot of people think that you would just change these two separately because they don't understand what the base path is the base path is just where it installs things and it's used for this variable and this just simplifies the process so we're just going to go ahead and paste it and replace everything there and what we're going to do is then add a additional vortex folder and all you do is do just do a backslash and then vortex, and that will create a vo vortex folder inside of the follow for directory. Then we'll automatically change the download path and the install path to also go to where you created that new base path. And that is as simple as it gets. And it's now going to install your downloads into Steam, Steam apps, common, follow for, and vortex. And it's gonna do the same for the install path of mods as well. All you do is click apply and bam, it sets it to hard link deployment automatically. And now you're able to install mods for the game that you've set up. So I wanna run you through that process just one more time for an additional game, just to keep it in your minds. And let's go ahead and do it for Skyrim special edition. And then you can see we have mods can't de be deployed. It's because we have the same problem here. So let's go to settings. And all we wanna do is go to our Skyrim special edition. So let's scroll down and find Skyrim special edition. And we're just gonna wanna copy this again and replace everything. But then we're gonna add the backslash and add vortex on the end again. And then you can see it automatically changes these directories as well and boom, apply, and hard link is deployed. That is a very basic thing to fix. So now you know how to fix the deployment issue for Vortex. What about some of these? An error occurred activating profile. Now, all you have to do to figure out what's going on here is just click more and it will tell you what the problem is. So for example, my problem here is that I don't have a Skyrim prefs any file. And the reason for that is because I haven't ran the game as of yet. So some games require to be ran to create these INI files. So now we have handle Nexus links enabled. We've got profile management and you know how to fix the basic issues with Vortex that happen as soon as you install it or can happen if you have your games installed on a different drive. So what are some of the advanced settings that you might want to change? Now there's only a few options that I wanna run you through as there isn't really anything here too interesting but I do wanna quickly run you guys through just a few things here and then I'll let you go. So the first thing here is enable advanced mode. This just enables some extra features in Vortex that are a little more advanced, but can also cause more issues. So it's kind of a trade-off and I suggest just keeping this disabled unless there are features that you need in advanced mode, which for most of you, you probably don't need, at least not right now. And then again, the mod section is for changing the directory for the game that you have selected. But that is all you really need to know, jumping into Vortex, and now you're able to install mods, or at least you should be able to. But if there's anything more specific or advanced that you would like a tutorial on for Vortex, just let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll be sure to make a tutorial on it 
But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed and got anything out of it, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to Join in the Good Fights if you haven't already. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. But anyways, guys, until next time, this is Epoxy signing off. Thanks.